Good afternoon, everybody. It is late uh, here, but it's a glorious day, and it has been. Not even the promise of a day, but the reality of a day that has been beautiful, cool, sunny, um, maybe not crisp. Don't quite feel like fall, autumn yet, but it's coming. You just, there's something in the air. It's coming. Um, and so change, uh, change, the change in the weather yesterday, we, I'm looking out at about a 10, I don't know, 12 foot section of fence that fell down, um, because of the wind, uh, yesterday. And so we've got it kind of propped up, did that this morning. And, uh, I got to go out and figure out now whether we need to replace some posts or whether we can just nail it up and all. But anyway, small things there, <clears throat> but change. None of us like change, uh, and yet uh, it seems that that's what life is. Uh, you move from you know infant to adolescent to adults, and you know you're not even sure where those lines are. Um, but uh, you know the weather changes um, and all. And I've been reading in the old through the Old Testament, <clears throat> and the other day I'm in Ecclesiastes. And the other day, uh, I read this, and this is one of the more famous uh, passages in, in Ecclesiastes, and so let me just read it for you. Uh, I think the birds did a song on it. Uh, for everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. There's a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, and a time for war, and a time for peace. So yeah, there's a lot of kind of question stuff in there. I don't know what casting stones and keeping stones, I don't know what that means. Uh, I'd have to look that up. <clears throat> and uh, a time to keep silent and a time to speak. Boy, I wish this was a time for everybody on the internet and on in the news and politicians to be quiet. Um, everybody, you know. Anyway, uh, so, but there's a time for everything. <clears throat> Recently, uh, last two weeks or so, uh, I've been out here in the backyard and, uh, and at church and all, and it seems like, for whatever reason, in the last 10 days or so, two weeks, squirrels have just come out. Now, they were around in the spring and all that. We kind of got hot and, I don't know, they went and hid or did whatever squirrels do. But, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Now, we've had three or four of them in our backyard just driving the dogs nuts, going back and forth across the the line and up and down the pole and at church too just chasing each other and going and you know gathering nuts and looking for looking for things and you know kind of setting up for winter you get that sense um but you also get the sense is that they were not panicked they were just doing what squirrels do and sort of you know this would be provided there were going to be nuts there were going to be um, acorns, stuff like that, that they could, you know, hide away and, uh, when they're, you know, making their burrows and getting ready for when the, when the weather changes. And there was just this sense and watching them and, you know, maybe I'm projecting, but, uh, uh, that no, no, everything in its due time that, that almost like, you know, change is coming, but, um, I don't have to panic. I don't have to, I do what I do now. And I plan for it. I prepare for it. I know it's coming, but the Lord provides. Now, I don't think school brains are thinking that, but I think that's a reality. I think we can look and see um, that, yeah, yeah, change comes and is coming. But in the moment, the Lord provides for us, and he provides for what we need for the future. And it may be day by day. Um, but uh, we're to be, you know, diligent, preparing our hearts, preparing ourselves. But um, at the same time, you know, what can we do? We can't change the future. We can't predict it. Um, but we know that, um, yeah, 
the squirrels know God provides. Um, I think there's a lesson there for us uh, as we're you know, coming into uh, this political, you know, era um, or season. And um, but beyond that, you know, with the pandemic and with the um, uh, just the the destruction going on, be it wildfires in California. Have you guys seen that? Uh, in Oregon, in Washington State, um, just the West is, you know, there's fires, uh, bad fires everywhere. The destruction that's going on with the rioting in some major cities, uh, Portland and um, Seattle, you know, in our neck of the woods, uh, and back East as well. As Christians, I think we need to maybe take our cue from the squirrels. Um, that uh, the Lord provides what we need now, and that we need to be prepared for change. We need, and we know that it's coming. I don't think anybody, you don't need to be a prophet to figure out that, yeah, this stuff is changing and will change, and we don't know what it's going to look like. We're in the midst of it. We're in this, this liminal space that uh, we just don't know. <clears throat> and that causes anxiety. That can cause confusion. It causes dissonance. It causes ang all those things. Uh, that grief, anger, denial, uh, depression, all that is grief is, you know, we're, we're, we're losing something uh, from the past and, uh, um, and all. So, uh, but uh, anyway, <laughs> we need to take our cues from the squirrels uh, and um, don't be squirrely, but uh, um they go around, they gather the nuts, they play, they do what squirrels do, and they're not panicked, uh, but they're preparing. And uh, um, I guess that's maybe it's the only thing I, I've got for today is I've been ruminating on Ecclesiastes, and he's a pretty um, mm, sober guy, <laughs> not, not too optimistic, not too, he's a realist. I, I like him. I like him. Kohelet there, uh, but uh, um, we can trust God. We can trust God with our futures. And so do what we need to do today. Be faithful today, uh, what it brings. Fix that fence. Um, gather those nuts. Uh, enjoy the day. Uh, we don't know. We're not promised tomorrow. Uh, so uh, do what we need to do today and uh, be ready for change and anticipate it. But uh, don't panic, and certainly don't try to fight against it. Don't cut against the wood grain, because uh, we can't stop it. Uh, but we can uh, um, be along for the ride. So anyway, that's about all I have today. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And um, we'll be back on Thursday, and hopefully back at the normal time. Uh, so anyway, um, you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.